dear friend, the Schuster, Joe Schuster and the Schuster family. Um, this, this day would have brought tears to the eyes of my mom, my dad, and Joe. Uh, my dad, is, as been mentioned, was the writer-creator. Jerry Siegel was the writer-creator of Superman. My mother, Joanne Siegel, was the original model who posed for Lois Lane. And uh, Joe Schuster, of course, was their dear friend and the artist on, on the strip. You know, um, my father and mother were both born here in Cleveland. My dad in Glenville, my mom in the Hungarian neighborhood over near Buckeye Road. And Joe moved to Cleveland from Canada when he was a teenager, and he teamed up with my dad at Glenville High School. And they all loved, and for their entire lives, talked about their great days in Cleveland. My, my dad, I, I want to tell you a little bit about him and about, about Superman and the influence that Cleveland had on his creation of Superman. My dad was an idea man, and he started writing when he was not even a teenager, well before he was 12 years old. It was always the way he wanted to express himself. And, and he had a love and a passion for writing that, that came from his inner being. And he wanted to, to write something that was worthwhile, something that people would care about, and that would last. And here it is 75, later, 75 years later, and, and just one of the many things that he wrote, Superman is, is being commemorated in the, in the very same town where he grew up. So that's absolutely fantastic. You know, he loved the vitality of downtown Cleveland. And in the 20s and 30s, it was Those comics that they read. And that's when they started dreaming. 
of having their own syndicated uh, comic strip one day that would run in the Clay, Cleveland Plain Dealer and run in other newspapers all over the country and, and as it ended up all over the world. You know, I also have to give a huge shout out to my father's teachers, the English teachers and the editors that he had at the, the uh, Glenville High School school newspaper, The Torch, and also the literary magazine, who were very encouraging to my dad. They loved his writing. They printed him as, you know, in just about every issue. I've seen a couple of them when he was in 11th grade, and he was darn good. He did a great job and wrote about very advanced, mature things about fate and high hopes. And Thank you. 